From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Thursday, September 3rd, 2015. And in the news, a small plane with two people on board crashed while landing on an airstrip just east of Fairbanks around 2 p.m. yesterday, sending the pilot to Fairbanks Memorial Hospital with undisclosed injuries. North Star a Volunteer Fire Department initially responded to 1235 Airline Drive on reports of a plane crash on a small airstrip located in a residential area near Dennis Road. Officials didn't release details, but neighbors reported seeing a small red and white plane take off earlier in the day. A U.S. official says five Chinese warships have moved into the Bering Sea near Alaska after participating in a naval exercise with Russia. The official says the ships are operating in international waters and are not viewed as a threat. The official says the U.S. believes this is the first time the People's Liberation Army's Navy has operated in that region. That official was not authorized to discuss the matter publicly and thus spoke on condition of anonymity. And the Fairbanks North Star Borough is fast-tracking an ordinance to approve the emergency procurement and temporary lease of heavy equipment following last month's fire at the borough solid waste facility. The ordinance is scheduled to be heard during a borough assembly finance committee meeting tonight, followed by a special meeting to advance to second reading. The ordinance will allow the borough to waive the normal process that requires months for contracts and repairs to be completed. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Above normal water levels on the Chena to continue for several more days. Forecast for today is partly sunny, highs in the mid to upper 60s. Tonight, partly cloudy, lows in the upper 30s to lower 40s. And then tomorrow, sunny with highs in the lower to mid 60s. The extended forecast is just a few clouds through the holiday weekend and mostly cloudy on Labor Day. Highs in the low 60s and the Aurora forecast is active. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. And don't forget, if you would like more news, sports or weather in your pocket, in your purse, download our free mobile app for Android and Apple devices. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.